Hello, everyone. Um, today we are covering one of my favorite artists, Kent Monkman. Kent Monkman is an interdisciplinary Cree visual artist delivering contemporary pieces using painting, film, performance, and installation. He blends history, fiction, and memoir to reshape our shared understanding and reveal some forgotten truths. He is a member of Fisher River Cree Nation in Treaty 5 territory, so-called Manitoba. He lives and works in so-called Toronto, Canada. Through his incredibly intricate works, he channels the complexities of historic and contemporary Indigenous experiences through themes of colonization, sexuality, loss, and resilience. His art bursts with vibrance and details. This persona aims to empower Indigenous sexuality. Mischief is deeply Cree and gloriously queer. These works illustrate a timeline of Turtle Island's history, from the creation of the universe to the Confederation of Canada. Mischief moves through that time, from a complex lived experience of Cree cosmology to the arrival of European settlers. Ken explains that she is deeply affectionate and an open-hearted being. She tries to live among those settlers and guide them to a deeper understanding of the interconnectedness of all beings and the world itself. The painting, Wooden Boat People, is representative of the colonial migratory movements in Tur Turtle Island. Mischief is seen extending a hand to the settlers representing love and kinship. Kent appropriates classical 19th century landscapes, speaking to the appropriation and assimilation of indigenous culture by colonial settlers. Monkman uses the colonizer's own methodologies and compositions to portray historical context. His work expresses the displacement of indigenous people, their yearning for sovereignty, their call for action to protect the land and water. Bad Medicine highlights the damage colonialism has done to the land, displacing not only the people, but the animals as well. Expressions of sorrow, resilience, and empathy are beautifully illustrated, capturing the viewer into the depth of the image. Importantly, Kent Monkman speaks to the implications of the coerced assimilation at the hands of Canadian authorities and the church. He depicts the agonizing pain experienced during the theft and drafting of Indigenous children into residential schools. Children are left in a desolate, gray, cold, and lonely room deprived of familial love. The child reaches for a connection with a sparrow or a robin in an opening in the window the only source of nature and light. The, the anguish on the mother's face as kids are being scooped up is disheartening. I believe this is in reference to the 60s scoop. It, it is difficult to look away from his pieces describing the representation and demoralization of Indigenous people in the Canadian system. These images speak to the perpetual abuse of Indigenous people in the prison system and other detention institutes. He depicts their suppression and torment in a way that transcends medium. I have been very fortunate to admire his art in person at the AGO in Toronto recently. I stood in awe for what felt like hours. I literally could have been planted there all day. I felt my heart become heavy with inspiration. It was incredible to see a practitioner express his vision and culture in such an elaborate and deliberate way.